we're gonna get to the big meat uh we're gonna get to the big meat so we're gonna watch this this latest video now this is a video uh let, let me this is a video by yosha iglesias Hi, i believe so we're gonna pull this up this is gonna be this is gonna be we're, we're gonna be covering this video and i have not seen this of course so i'm gonna give i'm gonna i'm gonna watch this and give you guys my opinions um yeah this this is the this is the latest thing that's come out i know a lot of gms were talking about this. they're saying this is very very serious now the thing is what i want to what i wonder is if, if if i open chess base I, I don't know what chess base i have i've got chess base 14 so somebody can tell me can i run an analysis like if i look at my games can i run an analysis of my own games or not uh it, it's it's an actual question like can, can i can i repeat the process um i can okay so let's watch a video and then i think i'm gonna look at my games and and see and see if i can base see see how much different it is let's, let's keep going and welcome to this video uh, oh sorry i put my camera on about spot. the cheating allegations against hans neman if you don't know me i'm fide master yosha Elias from france and nice to meet you so obviously i cannot promise that i will give mathematical proof that hans uh, cheated because it's it's too quiet i think it's good now it's but actually good i can guarantee that put I on one and a half speed okay uh, use the uh, most incriminating evidence uh, publicly available against hans neman so it all started when a friend of mine, who is even more nerd than me, asked me whether I saw this tweet. And back then it had uh, zero quotes, zero like. So I was like, come on, girl. No, only you have seen this tweet in response to a Boris Avruk Also, from- seriously, you guys, like, I'm just going to say one thing too, frankly. And this is just me being blunt. Like, you know, chill, chill. Okay, whatever. Just chill. Stop, stop making these gender comments. Just, just chill, chill the frick out. Okay, seriously. Two weeks ago. But okay, I clicked uh, the link. It's too and, fast uh, now. It okay. Brought us to um, to this uh, Google Sheets uh, full of numbers that we. Yeah. So I I actually you know I have seen the sheet too of Google numbers. Like I I, I was a couple of people have mentioned this to me as well. Um. Uh, a, a couple of people mentioned this to me. This is about statistics here. Um, from various tournaments. And again, I don't understand the percentages exactly in terms of how how it works. But I think they're saying that basically. I think if it's like, um, I think it's something like if you're the, the, the peak is somewhere around like the high sixties or seventies in terms of the percentage. And normally you'll see a lot of top players go below 40, for example. So, um, there are none of these that are below 40, which is why I think is like, I've seen this table. I know everybody's talked about it. Explain later. It's correlated with engine lines. Okay. Let's, let's just shut up and listen. I uh, struggle to make sense of at first. And, um, then we understood what it was all about. Okay, someone in chats, uh, we'll, we'll get to it, but one second. Someone in chat says she did a test on Arjun with the same analysis, and he only is, he has two games above 90 in his entire career? What the heck? Wait, what? Arjun has two games above 90, and that's it? I mean, we're, we're going to go through this video, and then we're going to do it myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait, let me pull this up. Um... Here is Arjun's let's check analysis data since 2021. One is 100%, one is 93. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No games. Above. He's got like two games in his entire career above 90. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, I was waiting for Arjun to have like have like 10 games at 100, and then like then we're just like, okay, whatever. It's all good. But okay. Well, let's get back to the video and just just watch it. And it brought us to chess base. So let's go there. There is this thing in chess base that I wasn't aware um, of before yesterday called let's check analysis. Basically, you go to analyze, then you click let's check. It will bring the default uh, engine for me, Stockfish 15. And then you click uh, once more to analyze, let's check. And um, after a while, you will get these uh, numbers. Uh, the world game analyzed and this correlation engine game correlation for white 49 percent for black 37 um, percent and it's a bit remindful of this of the famous uh, chess um number that you'll see everywhere but what does chess base um, say about uh, this uh, engine game correlation let's see what does engine game correlation mean at the top of the notation after the let's check analysis this value shows a relation between the moves made in the game and those suggested by the engines this correlation is then the same. Chat, of chat is in a good spot right players now. can reach high values in tactical symbols. Wait, let, let's let's try to understand this. Okay, so let's check. So, engine game correlation means at the top, the value shows the relation between the moves made in the game and those suggested by the engines. Okay, you, I I can put close. I can put ca- captions on. Sure. There we go. Okay. Well, games. 
So his favorite games, in which the correlation is yeah, I think I have to go to one also. Let's go back to one. And you say anything because they are sufficient to disprove the illegal use of computers in a game. Among the top ten grandmasters, it is usual to find they win their games uh, with a correlation value of more than fifty percent. Okay. Even if different chess programs agree in suggestions. Okay. So first point is they're saying that is saying that like so basically like I think that means like if I look at if you look at my games for the last like twenty years, it's probably fifty percent, right? Like maybe not twenty years, but let's just say the last ten years since I've been twenty seven hundred, it should be probably around fifty, is my guess, somewhere around there. The same variation for position. I'll check my games after we get through the video. It does not mean that no? this okay, must we'll be the, the best moves. Sorry. The current record for the highest correlation, October 13th, 2011, is a 98% in the game Fela Setraman Paris Championship 2010. Okay, so the, they're saying that there was a game that was played in the, I think, French Championship in 2010 between Sebastian Fowler and another player. Now, Sebastian Fowler was caught. He was a known cheater. So he had this 98% in a game during this period when he was cheating. This precision is apparent in Fela's other games in this tournament and results in an elo performance of 28.59 uh, that made him the clear winner. By the way, in case you don't know, in 2010, Fela was um, convicted of... Uh... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's not Federer. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. The, the cash has just killed me there with Federer. Federer was convicted. <laughs> They're talking about Sebastian Feller to be clear, but that's, um, that, that's, yeah, that's great. Honey time Federer is convicted. <laughs> okay. Having cheated with the help of the engine. <laughs> so I've spoken with someone who has analyzed um, thousands of games using this let's check analysis by uh, Chessbase. Okay. And they told me the following. If you take um, a few dozen, a few dozens of consecutive game by someone, you will get approximately this uh, results. So ninety-eight percent is Sebastian Feller's record in Paris, two thousand ten. Okay, so so okay, so Feller is what ninety-eight percent in in French Championship, or whatever, twenty ten. So this is like he did cheat in this event. I think it was proven that he cheated. Um, Correspondence World Champ. Wait, what the? Oh, pre-engine era. The Correspondence World Championship where players could like think for a week and then mail their move through the Postal Service and things like that was 72-75. Bobby Fischer during his 20 consecutive winning streak was 72%. Now, one thing I was actually about to say was like, I was curious, what was Fabiano's, uh, what, what was Fabiano's engine correlation when he had that amazing result in St. Louis in 2020? 14 or whatever it was when he started out, I think 7-0 and or 8-0. and Like, how high was it then? That's actually a very, I, like, that was another thing that popped in my mind. As I was thinking about this, um, Magnus Carlson at his best, 70%. Gary Kasparov at his best, 69%. Very nice. Super GM, 62 67. Normal GM, 57 to 62. Okay. According to Chess Base, uh, 72 to 75%. Um, it's correspondence world champion before the engines. 72% is Bobby Fischer at his peak during his uh, 20 consecutive winning strike. Like again, time enough against uh, Ben Clarsen. Yeah, I mean, greatest streak ever. Seventy percent is Magnus Carlsen at his best. Sixty-nine percent Gary Kasparov at his. So, but, so actually, you no. Know, it's interesting. If I if I read this correctly, aren't they saying that Magnus is not actually that great of a chess player? That Bobby Fischer is the true goat. I mean, if Bobby was seventy-two percent with no engine, isn't Bobby the goat? And like. Magnus is second best, and Gary, Gary Gary's the third best. Yeah, Gary Casper at 69%, of course. <laughs> anyway, um, ah, worse opponents. That's actually true. Worse opponents, I could see. But anyway, let's keep going. Best, 62 to 67% super grandmaster, and 57 to 62% normal GM. So it's for many games in a row, like the average after, um, if you take a few dozens I think of sound games. is good, but you guys can because tell me if it's not. I think it's good, though. Only one game, basically, more or less anything can happen. So now let's apply this analysis to Hans Niemann. So it's a game that Hans played uh, two months ago in the Turkish Super League 2022. As you can see, he won his game against a Goldmaster rated... Yeah, Puyi, Donnie from Iran. Yeah. And he had a correlation of 49% against 37%. Uh, so very normal game mm -hmm. that he won 
In this game, Hydro against Kuzubov with a 69% correlation against 61%. Normal game. Looks normal, yeah, okay. In this game, uh, he drew against Maxodlu Parham. Uh, with of course, of course, they have to have a game where he plays Parham, right? Obviously, Normal for game. the spice. In this game, he lost against Sanal with a correlation of fifty-one percent against seventy-four percent for Sanal. So obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, Yosha Glazes, I think she's an FM. She's about twenty three hundred. So yeah, so all this. So what, what I'm taking here is that basically this this po Turkish tournament looks completely normal. That's my takeaway from this game by the Indian player, but obviously he doesn't play at this level um, for many games in a row. So what is a, a like perfect modern game by a, a grandmaster? Let's see. Magnus Carlsen uh, last victory against Yanni Pomnishi. If you uh, don't remember, it was mm -hmm. like, Magnus Carlsen, the best This was a great ever, game, by the way. He does by best. the way, this was a great game. Magnus played this game amazingly well. Like This was a great, great technical game for Magnus that he won in the first round. Which is pressing in an um, uh, end game with a small advantage. So two bishops, a uh, space advantage. And then after a mistake by uh, Yanni Pomnishi, uh, minus one upon here a5 was first and minus one upon and then he pressed pressed and finally won a second pawn here and that's it Yanni Pomnishi resigned so perfect game by minus Carlsen 79 percent Wow, that's Congrats crazy because th this, this by the way just just for everybody who wants my opinion as like a super GM on this like this game was was in my opinion a perfect game. Like when I look at games, like I don't see any mistakes in this game. Like any even minor mistakes. This is like a clinical, clinical perfect game uh, from a technical standpoint, and it's still only seventy nine. Like th and this is this is as good as it gets. Like this is legitimately like a perfect game in my opinion. Um, and it's still only a seventy nine, which is amazing to me. Minus, so obviously amazing. Uh, this is a perfect game. Minus Carlson doesn't play. Uh, on How's your super GM opinion level, right? But for yeah. one game, one victory, especially. Hey, how's it going, Yosha? It's... Hope all's good. Yeah, we're watching the video. Yeah, I mean, uh, seriously, like uh, as a top player, like this game, this is what you aspire to play because it's just so clean, so so clean, and it's still only seventy nine, which is amazing, amazing. No more from minus Carlson. So now let's analyze this game um, by Hans Niemann, which was considered by many as very suspicious. Of course, it's in Charlotte, yes. Uh, if you don't know this game... Yeah, you know what's funny, course... you guys? I actually covered this game on my stream. I remember this this this, this whole end game with, like, the, the bishop a6. and I mean, this is the one that had this, like, the, the weird sequence in the middle, right? With, like, the, was it g3 and knight g4 and knight h2? And I think it's, it's, it's that, that's Hans probably Niemann what it's going to be black, about, right? And he plays this oh. incredible manual. Right, right on, <laughs> literally right on cue. Like, very creative. Yeah, see, I, I don't forget these games. Like, yeah, there's like a knight h2 move somewhere in here. Computer, which was to play g3, then knight to g. Let me think about this for a second, though. G3, I mean, yeah, g3 I doesn't seem like an insane move here. doesn't seem like an insane move. move. According to the computer. Which the whole g3, knight, g4, knight, h2 to follow it up like this is kind of crazy. Okay, you cannot take, but what's the point of knight, g4? It Play is to knight, go to yep. h2. Uh, mm -hmm. Queen, e3 attacks the rook, the rook moves, and then white rook, uh, white rook moves, and the knight is taken on h2, and it's very strange to play like this. But So what's the point of all this? Well, we'll see. Black... Also, I, no, you know, we, we I mean, again, next... like, you know what I find kind of odd about this game? Like, I'm going to be honest, like, after knight d3, is castles the best move? Because, like, I, I mean, seriously, like, let me turn off the closed caption for one second, like, so you can see the whole board. I mean, to me, honestly, to not play knight takes f4 is kind of, is kind of insane. I'm going to be honest. Like, I mean, just, just castling here and ignoring it, allowing this e5 stuff, is, or even d5, is kind of insane. Like, to me, I, I like... I, I can't think of a good reason I wouldn't play knight takes f4, knight takes f4, c6, and then castle next move. Um, so, so castles is like, to me, it seems like a crazy move to play here. Um, look at looking back on it, because knight takes f4, knight f4, c6 just seems very, very logical. Um, seems seems like to me, it just seems like the way that you should play. Um, now, of course, if castles is the castles probably is the best move, though I'm guessing. Well, we'll see. And like, still doesn't still doesn't take the rook no, there. No, we wins an exchange, but. They have to give it back. 
and now we enter this end game walk to h6 you might think it's to take uh, the pawn on d6 but no because what walk take walk takes d6 so yeah but you're not 300 I, i'm well aware of that you guys again after it. knight g3 and g3 walk g3 the knight on h2 is lost no, i mean the, 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 this, this is crazy though i mean pawn. like let, let me go back a sec let me go back let me um Actually, let me go forward, I guess. The knight on h2 is lost. And why is rook, why is rook up a pawn? Why is rook f6 not okay? Uh, I'm point and I guess rook f6 is what? Knight g3 takes, takes, knight f1, rook d3, and then white can just run the pawns? The bishop f5? Wait, sorry, I have to think about this. So rook f6 here. It, it, why is rook f6 not the move? Because Oh, oh, sorry, because takes, takes, knight f1, there's rook g8, I guess. So that's why it's not the move. Okay, let's keep going. Was to play... Work to e6 to exchange uh, the rook, and in this end game, um, black basically play without a knight because it's stuck. But mm -hmm. white is playing without a king. Yes, and true. the king is um, a better piece, a better attacking piece in the end game than the knight. So like, it was it was the whole point of uh, this incredible. To for all the new over. viewers here, we're, we're covering all the drama right now. We're covering we're covering the drama. Basically, what they're trying, what's trying to be proven here is that there's there's a way. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I'm gonna find some games of my own after we watch the video. Uh, if, if people don't already like go and do that for me while while I'm watching the video, but um, I, I I want I'm gonna go and like use this tool on chess base. Of course, I have chess base installed on this computer, and I'm gonna try to compare my games and see how good my play is. Um, and actually, you know what? If anybody in chat wants to do that while, while I'm covering the video, I want to ask people to take a look at the two, my two greatest games by far. Uh, so two greatest games in my career, one of them was against um, Boris Gelfand in the World Team Championship in Bursa, Turkey 2010. It was a King's Indian, a very famous game. The other one was a game that I played against Michael Krasenkow, the Polish Grandmaster. He was, um, that was in uh, Barcelona Casino Tournament in 2007 so that's two games so people you, you if, if anybody can go and do that while we watch the video please tell me what my accuracy was because those are my two two best games bar none by far and away when you guys come back and say it's like it's like 70 percent or like 80 percent, i'm gonna be very sad um so let's keep going and as the man converted is um advantage in perfect with a perfect technique like great game like and many, for many people, it was the most uh, suspicious game by Hans Niemann. And, okay, so poor Mishra, uh, who is, by the way, in case you don't know, the youngest grandmaster ever. So poor Mishra uh, resigned here. Mm -hmm. So what is the correlation? For black, 72%. Okay. So, great. Great. Okay, but I mean, this, this, so, so this is a good performance, but it's not, it's not like insane. This is not insane. But nothing too suspicious. So now let's see this game that Hans played against Mathieu Cornet, a very uh, strong French grandmaster and a friend of mine. Uh, it was played as uh, the suggest, uh, suggest Open 2020. Symmetrical pawn structure and Hans basically outplayed his opponent in perfect fashion. Uh, White sacked a pawn and here there is a queen exchange. But and now Cornell falls apart. Only here, white I can bet. be better thanks to uh, the activity of uh, the pieces, like two perfect rooks against two disconnected rooks. Even though black can still castle, and uh, opposite colored bishop, uh, which favorize activity, and uh, yeah, so white regains. Yeah, you just stack the rooks, right? The B three first, okay. After a few moves. Poor Mathieu Cornet resigned, and I asked uh, Mathieu about this game, and he told me, well, I've been dominated, uh, like, rarely, but it happened to me before, for instance, against Vlad Kachev, and we're talking about a strong on master, yeah, who Kachev's drew against uh, NBA, very who strong drew against master. Magnus Carlsen, so, you know, he's capable of uh, playing at the same level, at least for one game, as the best player in the world, but he told me, okay, I felt that uh, Hans was a much stronger player than me, but otherwise nothing too suspicious. Uh, even though after the game, oh, well, I should put close captions back on. Sorry, asked, yeah. uh, his opponent uh, whether his mistake was this move, net g4, 
which it is, yeah, it's a bad move. And Hans uh, answered in his, in his typical uh, provocative way that, no, it's not about G 4 it's uh, your opening is bad. And much like, <laughs> come on, you just catch me. <laughs> your opening is bad. This is hilarious too. And I, I can tell you why this is hilarious because like, I remember all the way back in the Stone Age, I think it was like probably 2003. And um, I think I was playing against, I believe it's Alexander Shapunsky in the New York Masters. And, um, and, and basically, I had a similar position, except the knight was on c6 versus d7, and I got blown away with the white piece. I played some e3, e4, and knight g4, and I just got crushed. I think it was Shapunsky or it was Ibrahimov, one of those two players. So when Hans comes out and just makes this ridiculous statement saying that this is, um, say, say, saying that this is, um, uh, saying that this is just like, uh, that, that, that this is, that this is a bad opening, like, it's just ridiculous. That, I mean, if that really was sad, that's just such, such rubbish. Like, don't be such a whatever. But okay, uh, for, according to Mathieu, nothing suspicious mm -hmm. about this game. Uh, so what is the score? Maybe 79% like a minus captain got uh, for his brilliant victory. No, no, this is probably like really high, right? Or something I mean, like this that. is probably really high. That well, just looked like a perfect game. 100%. Oh, it's... Wow. 100%. I was going to say, like, when I, when I look at this game, that really looks like, that looks like, that, that looks like a Magnus game. It really looks like you just get, like, taken to the woodshed. It really does look like that sort of a game. Um, 100%. Okay. Perfect score. Even better than Sebastian Feder uh, when Sebastian was cheating. Like, and by the way, someone should, uh, should tell Chessbase because they still pretend in the, in the help menu that uh, the record is uh, Sebastian Feder's 98%. No, it's not. It's Hans Niemann. But okay, it's not a proof of anything because for one game, mm -hmm. yeah, of anything course. can happen. Has it happened two times? Well, let's see. In the same tournament? Hans or no? Oh, no, no, this is just uh, okay. Christopher Yu, um, okay. uh, US Prodigy. As you can see, 100%. Let's just click through the game. Hans just crushed his opponent, obviously. And yeah. Um, whoa, whoa, very whoa, quick whoa, victory. whoa, wait a second. I have to go back. Wait, let, let me let me try let me turn on the CCs for a second. Is knight a five or g8? And what the heck is king b what the heck is king b7? Wait, what? What is king b7? I'm so confused. What what on earth is King King B seven? King B seven not I mean what is what is King B seven? Seriously. Don't tell me don't tell me King B seven is the best move. Is King B seven really the best move? His opponent, obviously. And Yeah, I know it protects the bishop, you guys, but you're down a piece, you're trying to attack. I mean King B seven is the best move. Hmm. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. And yeah, um, very quick victory, 22 moves, 100% correlation with, uh, according to chess base. Okay. And has it happened more than twice? I mean, what would I yeah. have played there? Let, let, me, let, me, let me go back. So you guys want to ask me what I would have played here? Um, let me go back five seconds. Okay, let me get to the position Obviously. again. Obviously. You're asking me what would I have played here? Um, what would I what would I have played here? So the king's king's on king's on c8 there. So instead of king b7, I'd be looking at fg2, something like rook g3. Um, I mean, I, of course, rook g3 loses to queen h8. So I'd be looking at like, I mean, probably to me, f takes g2 seems like the obvious move. I don't know, like, let, let me. Just... Yeah. Okay, uh, it goes too fast, but yeah, I feel like fg2. Um, FG2 seems like the, the move. FG2 followed by some kind of rook h2 or rook g3 or even queen h3. Although I guess FG2 does allow queen f5, but I don't know. Then, then you can still play rook g3. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have not seen this game before. I haven't. No, th this one I haven't seen. Um, seeing it from far away. Well, I mean, the thing is, once you... I mean, the thing that's really, the thing that's really difficult 
is that when you when you look at a game and you see like once once you see king b7 you can't unsee it so once you see it it's like it's very obvious why it's the best move like that happens to me too when i look at a game it's only like yesterday when i played the 96 there was this king e1 move and as soon as i see it, it's like oh of course king e1 king d2 and it all becomes very obvious but until you see it it's not obvious at all um also i thought i think queen d queen d5 actually well queen d5 queen f3 queen d4 queen f2 queen h4 maybe I don't know. I mean, I feel like there, there, there definitely are other possibilities. But anyway, let's keep going. And yeah, um, very quick victory. But it is a short moves. game. You, you know, th this one is the one thing. It is a very short game, though. It's only twenty-two moves. So I mean, twenty-two moves. It's it it, it is a short game. Hundred percent correlation with uh, according to chess base. And as it happened more than twice, yeah. A third times, uh, as we can see, it's a victory in 27 moves with black by Hans Niemann against Miguel Soto. Uh, a fourth time, Hans victory against. Uh, oh, Astrovisky. this game! This this game was the Queen H3 game in Charlotte, of course. I remember this game very well, also against Ostrovsky. This was the Queen uh, H3 one. A victory in 28 moves with black checkmate. Uh, another time. With black still a uh, victory against um, Martin Duque, I don't know. Um, 20, uh, 20 moves victory with black. Another time a victory with white um, in 31. So to be clear, you guys, when we're, these are over the board games at 100, 100 scores. Now to be very, very clear about this, um, what apparently Yoshi did analysis on Arjun. And Arjun has two games. His entire career is at 90. He has no 100 games at all. He has two games that are at 90 in his entire career. And this is Arjun, the, currently like the top-ranked junior. Uh, he's like 27-35, 27-40. And he only has two games at 90. Or since 2021, okay. One 100? Oh, sorry. I thought it was, it was one 100, one 90. Uh, oh, one is 100 and one is above 90. And that's it. That's it. Two games and that's it? Okay. All right moves i mean again people can say that this is not you know like a legitimate method whatever they want to say uh but the thing is it should i feel like you know i don't know the math i don't know how this stuff works but it feels like other players should be comparable like they should be comparable is what it feels like um oh the 100 percent is a game that arjun won in 10 moves okay so he doesn't really have he doesn't really have a, a hundred games on basically uh, i'm going to try to look at my games after this um like i said i was hoping somebody could actually just pull up my two games and take a look at two games that i consider my best games uh fisher had zero games zero games with 100 in his entire career wow fisher had zero games man that's um wow just wow okay congratulations to hans another time against Liban. These are not short games. To be clear, these games are all like mid-20 moves. Like these are not like 10 move or 15 move blowouts. These are games that are around 30 moves. Victory in 34 moves. Mm -hmm. This was from the US Junior in St. Louis. Another time, right, 100% correlation. A victory in 38 moves. Congratulations. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait! Did they say? Did he say thir thirty-eight moves, hundred percent? Yeah, I mean, this is again. I don't know how real. I don't know how realistic. I, I don't know how uh, how realistic this is. But like, the fact is, other players' games should match up. Like, they should. Other players should have games in this range. Um, if, if it's like, yeah, if it's thirty-eight moves, like, I mean, yeah, it's thirty-eight moves. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure people are probably already crunching these numbers, but this is um. This is unsettling. This is very unsettling. The eight moves. Congratulations. Another time. Yeah. Victory with white. 100% correlation. Uh, what Victory the? Victory in... What the heck? 45 moves? What the heck? Wait, what? 45 moves and he is 100% accurate? 100% like he matches? I mean, 45 moves. I mean, 45 moves. This is... Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, 45, like, I mean, 30 moves, I, I, I mean, 45 moves is sus. Very sus. Very sus. 45 moves. And th by the way, when you guys say to the opponent play on, when you look at this position, this is an end game. This is like a Rook and Bishop versus Rook and Knight end game with pawns on it. This is not, um, this is not like, this is not some game where it's like the person's struggling on for 20 moves. 
Congratulations, maybe to his opponent, I guess, to have resisted that many moves. <laughs> oh man, that's savage. And another time against a strong one master, a victory with right in 37 moves. Wow. So now let's go back to this Google Sheets, which was not compiled by myself, but by Gambit Man, a person with whom I've spoken a lot yesterday Government and man. who wants to remain anonymous. So all credits goes to them, and of course uh, I put the link in the description <laughs> so you can uh, check by yourself, yeah. and you can even download uh, the games to um, to see the last check. It's analysis, Gambit Man, not Government um, Man. Gambit Man. They have done on chess base. If you have a chess base, so as you can see. It's uh, a compilation of all this uh, Let's Check analysis uh, for Hans Neumann between 2019 to 2022. So there are uh, these few 100% uh, results. And another, another thing that is very strange, it's five tournaments in a row uh, from uh, the Philadelphia Open in uh, July 2021. Um, Hans paid at incredible uh, at an incredible level: 69%, 70%, 79%, 79%, 69%, 69%. So if you remember, uh, I'm going to do some analysis of my game shortly. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to do some analysis um, of my own games after we cover this video. Track. And here, for five tournaments in a row. Hans paid at uh, more than 73% uh, on average. So on average for five turns in a row, they're saying that Hans played better than Bobby Fischer at his absolute best when he was on that 20 game win streak, right? They're saying that for five turns in a row, Hans played better. Hans played better than Bobby Fischer when he won 20 games in a row on his path to becoming the world champion. Wow, okay, wow. So it's simply incredible. And it made me wonder about how it's possible that um, can Wigan, with Fide top anti-cheating expert and uh, a great mathematician, has seen nothing. And so I took this a is, look this at... Is not, um, this is not extracting stats. Like, this is all the tournaments. This is not like one tournament. So when people think it's like you're, you're like basically singling it out, like this is all his tournaments. Wigan's results uh, were publicly available on his uh, website. So, and of course, I put the link in the description. Okay, this is so good. what matters is the ROI, uh, which for um, Neiman between 2019 and 2022, it's between uh, 62.3 and 36.6. .6. And okay. as uh, Regan explained in his uh, chess base interview, 50% of the uh, of Hans results are above 50 and 50% are under 50, under 50 okay which is exactly uh, what you would expect because this roi follows a normal distribution so here we are on uh, wikipedia uh it's a normal distribution centered on zero with plus one sigma plus two sigmas uh, minus one sigma minus two sigmas and for right right um, you mentioned this yeah it's a two sigma ROI, event. Yeah. it's not zero it's 50 and it's not Plus one sigma, it's a 55, it's 60, 65, 70. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about standard, is starting to talk about standard deviations. I mean, I do know a little bit about that just because of the stock market, but I, I'm not really sure how. I mean, I guess they're saying, like, basically, it's the number of events, it's, it's the number of events in a row, like the odds in every single chess tournament as it repeats over and over and over again. Um, 35, um, 40, 35, 30. And according to Reagan's, um, okay. According to Reagan, Hans' results are just normal. Like, as you can see, there are three tournaments above 60, which is more or less what you would expect, like two or three tournaments like this above uh, above uh, 60. And also, okay. one tournament uh, above 40, but two tournaments at uh, precisely 42.2. So, normal results, according to Reagan. But... If we take a look at the ROI, according to Reagan, for these uh, five tournaments and even the sixth one, because it's also above uh, 50, uh, you see a different picture for these tournaments. Uh -huh. Because 
for the Philadelphia uh -huh. is uh, 50 So this is not this is not two sigma then like this is this is this is six sigma right it's like six tournaments uh, six six in a row outside the deviation right right or am I wrong is, is, am I misunderstanding that you guys I think so no I, I'm well I'm not a math guy but yeah it's saying it's like six sigma right okay all right I'm wrong okay but I could nine, be right I could be wrong um, okay all right which only uh, sigma will understand this yeah nodes of one okay. in uh 18 so it's not of course it's not um probability of okay. cheating it's uh, uh the opposite actually if you consider a population of uh players who are non-cheaters in one in every it's, it's a bias as you're selecting top five. It's not, though, because it's talking about five. It's talking about these tournaments in a row, right? Like, it's not like you're picking, like, tournament in 2019, another one in 2020, what? another one in 2021. It's six tournaments in a row where, the, like, the, the averages are extremely high. It's they're, 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 the averages are extremely high. So I feel like it does make sense in a way to, to actually, you know, cherry pick that. Um, because it, these are the six events that are, like, really, really high. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, tournament. You will see such a tournament has a yeah. It's like five or six consecutive. In Philadelphia, so you see it's not at all a proof of cheating or an indication of cheating. It's um, the the probability of uh, it happening uh, in case uh, Hans doesn't cheat. Okay. So one in eighteen is just it happens. Normal. But yeah, yeah, yeah. One in eighteen. Uh, second tournament in a row is one in seven. It's, it's like rolling the dice. One in eight. Uh, did Sebastian Feller admit to cheating after getting caught? Yes, Feller was caught cheating. He was given, I believe, a two-year ban. Uh, I think the person who helped him, which I think was, uh, I think it was Cyril Marzolo, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was Arno Hoshard. I don't. I think there. I think there were like two other people involved. Um, they were. They were all banned for a period of time by by FIDE and by the French Federation. And one in six. So as you can see, because you have to multiply the probabilities. Uh, is getting whoa wait stranger. wait wait chat chat someone in chat i don't again you have to take everything chat says with a grain of salt but someone says regan's methods did not detect cheating at feller's games uh if i mean i i hope that's wrong i hope that's wrong i mean who knows it could be true it could be false and stranger the cumulative probabilities are uh less than one percent after two, two tournaments in a row uh, one in um one thousand after three tournaments in a row and uh, these are all over the board events you guys six, these are all over the board uh, chess tournaments, tournaments in a row. all over it's the board this is not online 70, this is over the board um 77 000. so very strange thing so right. you might be wondering what is the probability uh, that hans has cheated uh, knowing this well we don't know it all depends on uh, your prior probability Okay, Thanks you guys. Somebody. Okay, so this is a very good video. I, I don't think we need to watch the last couple of minutes. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get to the fun stuff. So I am gonna open chess space, and we are big shout out to Yosha Yosha Iglesias who did this video. By the way, we're gonna get to. I'm gonna open chess space. Let me just make sure. Um, there we go. All right. I think I will change my scene. One second. Uh, this should look right. Yeah. Oh wait, actually, I should. Um, actually, wait, I should. Uh, one second. I'm going to go back before I, before I, before, before I accidentally like, like leak something. <laughs> like I'm going to accidentally leak, like I'm going to, I'm going to leak all my, all my online databases, um, when I do the search. So let, let's not do that. Okay. Um, yeah, what I just leaked, I, I didn't, I just, oh, but actually you, you guys, you'll, you'll, you'll see, I have, um, oh, actually let, let me show you guys what you see. So, um, yeah, no tricks. Well, you see right here. Here you go. Take games for YouTube. You see here. Here are these games. Should I? Should I? Should we start here with the games that I played against Andrew Tate's dad? Um, and and, and test it. Is that is that what I should do to start with? <laughs> anyway, okay. Give me one side. Let me figure out. I think I'll just use the online database to to look. Um, yeah. And let's let's not do that. Okay. So let me look at the online database. Let me see. Nakamura, comma H. Let me pull up some games. Um, just give me one second. Okay. Oh, uh, this is the online database. Let me change the um let's let's change the uh let's this is this is online, right? So that's August twenty second. Okay. So these are some games. These are what these are all games that I played in St. Louis, right? Okay, St. Louis Blitz. Um let's find some classical chess. So let's see. Uh what did I play? I played the candidates. Oh my gosh, there's too many too many of my games that were played in this uh the silly um silly online chess let's see where 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 do we go um one second 
Okay, let's see. Um, so okay, so I played the candidates. Where is it? The candidates ended at the ended. When did it end? It ended. Someone tell me when the candidates ended because I don't actually see it in the online database for some reason. Um, why all losses? Yeah, it ended July seventh. Okay, let me let me sort then. July seventh. Okay, July. Wait, why is it not in the online chess based online database? Okay, whatever. Let me. Let me go back then. So 2020, is this online? Okay. Um, this is all online though. Why can't I find the games? Okay, let me... Welcome, welcome. I'm just, I'm just checking the chess space. This is just a chess space online database. I, I thought I'd do it that way rather than have to go to Mega. Um, give me one second. Let me just go to early 2022 because that's when I started playing over the board again. But it was in... When was it? It was in March, right? It should be March or April. Where was it? Why can't I find the games here? Okay, let me change the scene. Let me do a different search. Uh, just give me one second. Why can't I find it? Online database, not my age, click advanced. Opponent, let me, let me, let me just search by opponent. I played, actually I played Asapenko twice, right? I played him twice over the board. Okay, so this should work now. Let's see, so I played Asapenko in the feed it okay let's open this game so how does the tool work you guys why is it not opening um whatever um what am i doing wrong give me one second you guys it's not chess space is not working seamlessly the way it should be let me just copy these games instead i played them in february 5th and i also have to create a new database file new database one second h h n games yeah, no, no, I, I need to put the games in a separate folder from the online database. Just give me one second. C, control V, okay. Um, and the other one was, I beat him with black, right? I beat him with black, March 28th, control C, control V, there we go. Okay, so we have two games here. So I will open this game. Let me pull this up. And so what do I do? I go to analysis, right? I go to analysis, and then what do I do? After analysis, I go to let's check, right? I only have Stockfish 4 on this computer. It's not my main computer. So, um, so what, what do I do? Okay. So, so yeah, what, what do I do here? You guys, let's, let's start with, let's start here. Um, so do I click, I click, let's, what, that's not what I meant to do. Um, I click, wait one second. Okay. Wait, let's check. Okay. Um, I click, let's check again, right? If I click, let's check again. No, it doesn't do anything. Um, let's check analysis. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, okay, here we go. So what do I click on? Which one? Yeah, you guys tell me which one. Sorry, I'm not thinking subs. We're, we're, we're trying to just cover a bunch of stuff. Okay, what do I click on? Stan um, standard analysis, okay? And I click okay, I guess. Right? Do I click OK? OK, here we go. Let's take a look. How good is this game? Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. I have a feeling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to the conclusion I'm a very bad chess player, by the way. Let's see. Let's see. This was a great game, by the way, this English game. I know I'm running with six CPU because uh, this is not my main computer, but all right, let's see. Okay. This is going to be uncomfortable with a bunch of 100% games. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I have 100% games, yeah, I, I must be using uh, D's beads, right? No, it's not going to take five minutes. I mean, this was a long game, to be fair, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, this is all prep, of course. Okay, do we have it? It's done? Is it done? Wait, is it done or not? It, it doesn't give me the stats at the top. Why is it not giving me the stats at the top? Shouldn't, shouldn't it give me the stats at the top? I, I don't see the stats. Look on the bottom, it's still running? What do you mean? It's still running? Okay. Okay, all right. It's still calculating? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll wait a second then.
Let's see. I, it's saying 53%, but I don't, I don't think that's what it means. Let's see. Time for an ad break? Yeah. Depth equals 73. Yep. Yeah, I guess you guys just... I should have clicked all... Vari Wait, I should have clicked all variations in the parameters? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, it looks like it's just... It, it looks like it's game move 7 where it stops, no? Is it 51% saying that I have 51% here, you guys? Okay, maybe I... Did I do something wrong? I don't know. I, I can just... I can stop, of course. I, I don't know. You guys tell me. Click on... Oh, okay, okay. So I, I, I messed it up. Okay, one second. Okay, so let's go back. Let's pull it up. So I click on... Um, right, I click on analysis. Let's check. And I click all... Okay, and I click on... Let's check analysis. Standard. I click advanced. I click all variations, right? Is this it? Okay, let's go. This time it'll probably work. Okay, this time it will work. Okay. I'm a boomer with computers, LOL. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. I thought I played this game like a genius, by the way. I did think I played this game very well. So this is going to be This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I need a coaching session with Yosha. It looks like it's going pretty fast, though, no? Yeah. Okay, here we go, right? 100%. Oh, I played 82. It's good. But it's still nowhere near, uh, it's nowhere near 100%. It's 82%. So it's actually, I did play a good game. I did play a very, very good game. Okay. Um... So this game was good. Okay, so let's let's move to the next one. Okay, so 80%, 82%. Very, very good. So I played a very high quality game there. All right, let's go to this one. Now, this is the one. This one I won. Okay, let me um analysis. Let's check. Okay. So I did play very well there. This one I'm betting I did not play well though. Let, let's see. All variations. Okay. Okay, let's go. Next one. By the way, Black, yeah, Esipenko also played a good game at 70%. Yeah. Check the two games that I said. I, I will do that. But I, I'm starting with games that I know that I can pull up easily where, um, where, where, I, where, where I play them. But let's see. This game, I bet, is very bad, by the way. This game, I have a feeling, is pretty poor. I have a feeling that my, I, I'm not going to be very impressed by this. Look at short games. Um, well, I mean, Hans had, like, games that were in the mid-40s. He had, like, three games in the mid-40s, no? That were 100%. Ooh, 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 that is putrid. 44% for white and 61 for me. Very, very bad. So I think I barely, did I barely play this? At a, I played this at like, what, like a 2650 level or something? Very, very poor. Of course, Esipenko played it worse. Um, but yes, this is not a very good game. All right, so, okay. So let's, 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 uh, let's go, let's, let's, uh, let's go back to the main scene um, online. Nakamura H. Let me click advanced. Okay, so let's find the game. Game against Galphon was so much theory, though. Um, what was the tournament that I played? I mean, I guess I could find... I think of some games. Gal Galphon probably won't work because too much of it was theory. Like, But anyway, we'll take, we'll take a look anyway. Why not? Yeah, let's see. Okay, I've got like 20 bazillion games against Boris. Um, it was 2010. Is it this? No, wait. I was black. It was, I thought it was 2010 in Bursa. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, it's this one. So let me copy it. Let's go here. Control V. There we go. Okay, let's open it up. Let's go to analysis. Let's check. Okay, here we go. And um, Fabiano game is going to be low because it was a super long game. 2650 is so bad. I know. Let's see. Okay, standard analysis. All variations. Away we go. I mean, the problem with this game is the first 17 moves are all theory. What just happened? Chess base just freeze on me? No, it didn't. Speaking of, of, of chess programs not always performing the way they should perform. I think chess, I, I think it just froze, right? I think I broke chess base. Not shocking, not shocking, but I think I finally broke chess base. Let me see. Or no, it, it came back. Wait, it came back for a second. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it here, see if it finishes it. Maybe that'll make, make it better. But 
Okay, let, let's let's go back. Maybe it'll work. Maybe. Oh, it's still working. Yeah, yeah. You can check your performance against the, the game, yeah. Okay. No, it's actually working. It's working. This, this is a heavy game. I mean, who knows? Maybe everybody's doing it, honestly. I'm not... Yeah, yeah. I'm, this is not my main computer. Um, okay, here we go. Ah, not, not... Okay, so actually, this is important anyway. You know why this is important? It's important because it's saying not enough moves, which actually is, is legit because the first 15 moves of this game are... Like, this is all known theory. Like, this position has been played so this actually is useful because it means that there's it, it actually accounts for theory and what's known what is known theoretically so it's actually very useful so in that case um um let me just go back to online let's do advanced let's find my game against crescent cow okay there we go no no it's this is actually it's very useful that there that it takes that into account so berlin games will never end up in there okay so let's copy this Control C and Control V, and let's take a look at this one. Okay, uh, analysis. Let's check. This game is probably, I, I would say, this is the other game that's amongst my best. But this one, I think, is a lot less theory. I think we're out of theory very early. This was twenty-eight moves. Let's see. This had, this had my famous queen sack too. 2648, I know. I wasn't a very good player back then. This was, this was on my big rise. Um, okay. What? I only... Wait, this is like my best... This is like one of my two best games of all time, and it's 66? What? For real? Oh, this, oh man. Yeah, best game ever, and it's 66. Okay. I know it's super GM level, but, like, I mean, 66 is nowhere near 100. Like, not even close. I mean, not even close. Bad player. I mean, again, I, I, I don't know how this works, but this, it feels like if, if my games, it feels like it, it works, though. It feels like the averages do work here. I'm going to be honest. It feels like the averages work here. Because, like, they said 60 to 67 is super GM. 72 is Bobby Fischer at his best. 70 is Magnus. So, like, I am not above that. Like, I played that one great game against Asapenko, but on average, I'm not, I'm not actually, like, I'm within the bands. So, it feels like there probably is some credence to all of this stuff. Um, doesn't that show you there's something wrong with Hans' number? I mean, again, I'm not a math guy, but it feels like the numbers of other players should add up. It really does. And the numbers aren't adding up. Like, my numbers are not adding up. Um, or my numbers are adding up the way they should add up relative to the way that it should be working, but it's not check my games against Anand. Okay. Um, sure. I can, I can do that. Of course. Um, where was that? It was online, um, advanced. Let's see. Let's, I mean, I've, 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 I've dominated Vichy over the board. So let's, let's see, what are we going to get here? Um, it'd be informative to check Ali Reza. I, it doesn't even have to be Ali Reza. It can be me. It can be Vichy. It can be anybody. Um, but okay, let's see. I played Vichy. Let me just... I'll just take some selections. These all were over the board, of course, until 2020. So I'm just going to take a bunch of them and, and just copy them over. Like 2019. Because these were all over the board. So, second. Let me open this. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to look at all the games. But let me just put them here. Okay, so let's see. So this is a game I lost. Okay, this is Blitz. Blitz. Um, where's a classical game? I'm looking for some sort of classical game that, but okay, Canada's turn. This is a game I won, but this is too short because this is all theory. Um, where's, where's a good, this game, this was the Catalan, right? The one where I was up the pawn early. Yeah. And I had to play knight a three. I guess I can try to run this one. It's probably gonna say, it's probably gonna say too few moves, Oops. but let's see. Let, let, let's try to do it. Um, cause this was a good game. Problem is I think the first 18 moves are, or uh, they, they, they weren't necessarily, here at the time now they probably are so i assume it's going to say too few moves but let's see let's see no, no i'm only going to check over the board games um but let's 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 see can i check fabio actually fabiano is who i should check yeah i was i want to look at fabiano's games to see um because fabiano's performance is one of the greatest performances i've ever seen yeah Okay. 
what's going on? Is it doing it or I'm confused? I think it's just doing it, but let's see. Um, why are you checking against other Super Grandmasters? It's not even remotely comparable. Well, I'm comparing my own games to see what my highs are, what the absolute highs are. Can I check a Hans game? Yeah, I can do that too. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. Is it actually? It, it should be calculating. Would be interesting to see what your highest percentage in a loss would be. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it, maybe against maybe against Magnus. I have a high. Probably the game I played against him in London might have a high percentage. Um, did I see Reagan's response to Yosha's video? I did not see his response to the video, but like at the end of the day, like you, you can you can you can disagree with like the numbers. But if if my numbers add up here and they're in that range where it seems like they should be. And then Hans's Hans's are not in that range; they're way above it. I mean, if it, it feels it feels kind of weird. It does feel kind of weird. Um, I should use a supercomputer. I could. I guess it's just not working right now. No, it just doesn't look like it's working on this. But yeah. Should I just use Stockfish fifteen? Well, this, this is not my main computer, so like I just assume if, even if I use Stockfish fourteen, old one. It should, yeah. Redo it? Okay, it's not working? Okay. Um. Okay. Check analysis standard. All variations. Okay, let's go. One, one more time. It says it's done in the bottom left. Okay. Yeah. How is this calculating? Um. Well, I mean, it's, it's community source, though. This is not my computer. It's community source, right? It's like comparing online engines, no? Maybe I'm wrong on that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's working. Okay, let's see. 600 seconds is too high. Okay, I mean, I can reduce it next time. But the numbers shouldn't be that different, should they? No, no, I think, I think it's using multiple engines, though. I think it's community, right? No, I mean, this is not the computer I use for studying, uh, for studying chess. Keep it that... I mean, be blunt. Um... <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Did it freeze again? Tried to freeze. It didn't freeze. By the way, as I said before, that is one of the qualms. If you ask any, if you ask any um, Super GM, they will tell you that chess base is an absolute pain to use because it freezes all the time. It just freezes all the time. Um, you can see who's contributing to the lines. Yeah, you can see it on the... Um, you can see, like, I'm contributing lines, but you can see New Engine, Deep Fritz 14. Like, again, probably a lot of people are contributing lines, so... Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I was very proud of this game, too. I thought this was a great game that I played. I, I, re I really hope that my, um, my percentage is high in this game. I hope it's like 80, because if, like, if it's like 70, I'm, I'm really going to, it's going to make me feel very, um, it's going to make me feel very uneasy. Yeah. Yeah, shouldn't there be considered an opening in the market? Why is there no rival to chess space? Because it takes a lot of time and money, and there really isn't a lot of profit, and it's not something where you're going to get a billion dollar, uh, you're not going to have a billion dollar company. Yeah, if, if my performance here is like is like is below seventy, I'm gonna feel very uneasy. Let's let's put it that way. It's gonna make I'm gonna it's gonna make me feel very uneasy about the whole situation. Seventy is Magnus's best peak, right? But these are individual games, so you can be above it potentially. Um, potentially, but I think that I think there there are enough um, there are there are are enough uh, enough moves. So th this game is going to show up. This, this will show up with, with, uh, with some analysis. It's not the same actually as chess.com. 70% is pretty high. Okay. Yeah. Praying for 70 drama is good. I mean, the thing is, the numbers should add up. This is the point. The numbers should add up. Nepo was at 76 in the candidates. Okay, 76 is great performance. Whoa, thank you to Krunu for the 100 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Krunu. Thank you to everybody for all the, all the love and support today. You guys are amazing. Uh, obviously i'm really i'm really like i'm I'm really interested in all this stuff now like it's like it's really making me excited so like i'm i'm kind of like i'm i'm really into it so i'm sorry if i'm not thinking all the subs but i do appreciate it thank you yeah let's see let's see um what where where i'm at because yeah if nepo's at 76 like nepo was playing amazing chess uh amazing chess and he was still only 76 compared to 100 like not even remotely close um yeah, let's see. Thank all the 100 subs. I mean, those are 100 gifted, but yeah, thank you so much to Karunu. You're excited, we're excited. Yeah. 
No, I mean, the thing is, like, yes, you can say that it's flawed in some way. But the fact is, even if you think it's flawed, should the numbers not be similar? Like, at the end of the day, like, you can say it's flawed, but should my numbers not be similar to Hans or Magnus or whomever? Like, the numbers should be similar. And they're not similar is what, is what I'm getting from, from doing all this. They're not similar at all, even. Um, like, they're not even close to being similar. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling uneasy. They should, like, even if it's flawed, it, like, you can say it's flawed, but then all the numbers should be the same, right? Yeah, here we go. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Let's see. Okay, so I did play good. I did play well. So I did play 80. Okay. Yeah, so these are, these are like, my best games. These are my best games, and I'm still only hitting, like, 80. Like, I hit 80 in this one. I hit 80 against Esapenko. Like, I'm not hitting... I'm not hitting. I think if I do the Hans game, I'll get the same thing that Yosha got just because it's, it's sourced through the internet. Everyone's obviously done this at this point, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, 80 is, 80 is great. Like I said, I felt like I played this game great, but it's still a far, far cry from 100%. Like, it's not, I mean, it's 20% out. Like, it's 20% out from a, from a perfect game. So, it is good. I'm trying to think of some, let me see, let me just pull up like one, one more of my games that was like, this I want to find a decisive game that was not rapid, that was classical chess. Um, oh yeah, there was a game that I lost to Vichy after I broke twenty eight hundred. That stupid QGD game in Zurich. Let me see if I can find that. Um, Zurich, where is it? The stupid game that I lost to Vichy. Where is it? Vichy. Let me sort it by white. Anand V. Uh, was it not St. Louis? Not St. Louis. It was not London. It was in yes Zurich. So yeah, th this is a good one because the previous day I won a game against Sergey Karyakin to break twenty eight hundred. No, no, I'm, I'm, it's not salty, but I won the previous day against against Sergey, and that was the first time I broke twenty eight hundred. And so that evening I went out with my stepfather. He was in he was in Zurich with me. We had a nice dinner. I had some wine, and then I played this game against Vichy the following day. And just before we get into it, there was a critical moment in this game where I could have sacked my queen for um for two rooks. Let me see. It was right here. Yeah, I played this move g six. And then during the game, like, I kind of, or sort of, af not after the game, but after I played the next couple of moves, I suddenly realized that, like, I thought I should have actually gone for this queen sack for the two rooks and played it like this. Now, computer actually thinks it's okay for white, but I should have done this. And then during the game, after I didn't do this, I was always second-guessing myself. Yeah, I was, uh, that's because I had won, I think, I think I had won two or three games. I broke 2,800 on the live live list uh, the previous day when I beat Sergey Karyakin. Anyway, all right, let me, let me just delete the variation, and away we go. Um, analysis. Let's check. Let's see. Let's check and let's check analysis. 600 is good, right? You guys, is, should I change 600 to max time or is that too much? I mean, I can change it to like 500. Maybe I, I don't think it makes a difference. Or does it? does it? Yeah. Big shout out. Thank you so much to Karuna again for the hundred gifted subs. Uh, really do appreciate it. Yeah. The, this, this is six, 600 is fine, right? It was 600. Just leave it. Okay. All right. Let's just go. And away we go. Let's see. What are we going to get? Okay. This is a game that I lost. Um, yeah, 10 minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> and two hours later. Two hours later. Um, let's see. Okay. Thank you so much to Mysterious, uh, Mysterious S for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, yeah, let's see. What's my game of the century? I already showed you guys. My, the game, my favorite game was against Krasnikow, and my, I think I was, what, I was like, well, I don't remember, I already forgot what I was, but wasn't I in the 60s somewhere against Krasnikow? And that's my favorite, that's my best game of all time. Now here goes chess space again. Will it actually work? Will it freeze? We'll see. You checked my under promotion game with 78%. So yeah, so 78% is good. I mean, the main thing, again, as I'm saying, though, is like, even if people want to say this isn't like conclusive in any way, or it's not, you know, it's not like, it's not realistic. The numbers should still be comparable, though. Even if it's flawed, the numbers should be comparable, and they're not comparable. Why are we checking this? Are Hans games much higher? Yes, Hans has multiple games that were 100. Um, multiple games. Okay, let's see. The moment of truth. Okay, you guys. Oh, my... We are such bad chess players. We are trash. Vichy Anand is like a terrible chess player. 56, so bad. And I'm at 49. Like, we're both just awful chess players. Yeah. We're, we're, at, we're actually like, the, you know, the five-time world champion Vichy Anand, as you see, he's just a scrub. He's, a, he, he's just a terrible chess player. 56. 
And this is a game that, again, I thought Vichy played this game great. Like, if I go through this game, this is a Queen's game of decline. I thought Vichy played this game amazingly well. And if you ask Vichy about this game, he'll say the same thing. I mean, we both thought that it was a great game by Vichy. And he's like, he's 56. He's 56. Like, what is this? This is below normal GM. And we're two, like, really, really good players. Yeah. I mean, it's confirmed that Hans is twice the player I am. Yeah, apparently, right? I mean, like, this is insane. This is insane. This is just crazy. I thought I played this game pretty well. I mean, of course, Vichy outplayed me at a certain point, but what the heck? I mean, what the heck? Yeah, I mean, this is... Yeah, okay, that, that's, that's going to be good enough with my games. Let me, um, let me, um, let me do a search of, uh, of Fabiano's games as well. Uh, I can actually search this. I can search Mega. That, that'll be... Since Fabi's games are in here, this is an old version. But it should should show up. Okay. Um. Yep. What is it? It is um, Caruana F. And what year was what year was Singful to you guys? It was 2014, right? Was it 2014? What year was it? Or was it 2015? Whatever. I'll just do it this way. Um. Ignore colors. There we go. Yeah. 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 It, it, it'll it'll pop up anyway though. It'll pop up anyway. Yeah. Okay, 2014. There we go. Let's let's take a look at this. Um Fabiano, okay, the Zurich. It was it was in the fall because that was ice bucket challenge year. Okay, where was it? It was somewhere in here. Topla. No, Norway. It was after Norway, right? Was it wasn't Norway chess? Wait, is this out of order somehow? Maybe this is out of order. Wait, Singfield Cup. Ah, yeah, it was this, right? It was Singfield Cup. He won the first seven games, 2014. Yeah, here we go. Let me copy these games over. Put them in the right database. There we go. Okay. Let's sort them by um, sort them by date. Okay, one second. Can I do Hans's games? I mean, I, I could. Um, well, let, let me let me let me take a look at Fabiano's games because Fabiano's games are literally the greatest. Uh, I mean, this was like the greatest single performance. Let's start with Toplov was round one, I believe. I know the order is, is out of order, but let's 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 take a look at this. Okay, analysis. Um, wait, why can't I check? Oh, I have it open somewhere. Okay, let me close all the other games. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. So Toplov versus Fabiano. Let's see. Okay, let's check analysis. And here we go. And I'm going to go use the restroom because I'll be right back. You guys, give me one second. All right, what do we have? Fabiano, okay, Fabiano playing like a boss, 81%. Still not good enough. Fabiano's still not a very good chess player. Okay, but 80, 81 is good. 80, 81 is good. Um, okay, next game, Fabiano versus uh, Maxime. All right, let's take a look. Let's check. Here we go. Yeah, 80, 81, not, not very good. Yeah, yeah, not, not very good. Okay, let's check analysis. Advanced, 600. Away we go. Round two. Let's see. Is against Maxime. Okay. Oh, right. This is the one where Fabiano just blew him out of the water in the opening with the Karo Khan prep. This, this might be even higher because of, the, because of the first, like, 15 moves where Fabiano just played perfect, but it was all prep. Like, this, this, might, this might be, like, 90. Just, just because, uh, 
just just because um just because Fabiano actually prepped this whole line out for the first like 18 moves. This might be like a 90. Oh, so it's it's all theory. So it's all theory. So it doesn't show. This by the way, this actually makes me like much more impressed by this whole thing that it that it actually it, it takes into account theory. Like this is really important to note that it takes into account the the theory of the game. Okay, so that makes sense obviously. Yeah, cuz it, it probably realized the first like 17 moves first 17 moves are theory. Okay, let's go to game number 3 against El Magneto. This should this should be good actually. This should be good. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Let's see. This should be good against the boss himself. Okay. 600. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, someone can probably analyze all my games and see if I have 100 somewhere, but I, 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 I doubt I do. Okay, so this, is, this was the game that Fabiano beat Magnus. I mean, very, very, um, very, very important. See, Hans' game against who? I'm not sure what you're asking. Hans' game against you? Um, yeah, I mean, I could do that. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it here. Because, I, I mean... These games are so famous that they're all theory by definition. Well, I, th I mean, the thing is, I, at the time, it wasn't theory. But I don't know. Could you check to see if I got 100? I'm sure someone can literally look at all my games and see. Um, but we'll see. Okay, hopefully chess base doesn't freeze. Hopefully it finishes the way it should. But we'll see. Okay, good. Good, it didn't freeze. Keep going. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Fabi. Okay, this is this is Fabiano at his best. Fabiano with an eighty-seven percent. Fabiano really playing good chess, but hey, it's still not good enough. It's not even ninety. Like, do, what did they say? They said didn't they say Hans had twenty-three? Didn't Yosha say Hans had twenty-three games at ninety? It's eighty-seven, but that's still trash. Fabiano's still a very bad chess player, obviously. So okay, yeah, not even like isn't that what Yosha said, or am I completely insane? Didn't Yosha say that like Hans had a um. Didn't, um, yeah, f wait, no, what, what, what did it, I, I don't know what it said, um, oh yeah, here it is, um, yeah, let, let me, let me go back, so it says, in three years, Hans has 10 games at 100%, 23 other games at 90%, 23 other games that are 90, and here's Fabiano playing the greatest chess of his life at his absolute peak, and his best game against Magus there is like 87, it's 80 freaking 7, it's just not very good, obviously. So, okay, let's keep going with this. We'll go through a few more. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, 87. I mean, Fabiano is just a terrible chess player, as I said. Just not very good. None of us are, apparently.